Hey, what's going on Taurus? It's Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Guys, welcome to the channel. Um, I'm just going to write down Taurus here. So mid-month tarot card reading for March 2021. And this is the reading that I used the Starman tarot card deck for, for you guys. And I combined that with the Star Guide tarot spread. So this deck is pretty cool. Uh, if you've seen my mid-months before, you know that this deck was inspired by David Bowie and he collaborated on the artwork. So you're probably gonna see his face at some point during this reading. So um, just so you guys know, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and of course, any Taurus cross watchers. So do I have anything else to say? I don't think so. So I'm just gonna jump right into the reading for you guys and hope you guys are doing great. I love how you guys comment, you know, this is the bull gang here, I love it. Um, it shows a lot of confidence and, you know, just a lot of excitement. So guys, uh, yeah, let's get cracking. So I'm gonna pull a card that is gonna represent the present situation for Taurus in Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and uh, the, the collective energy available at the time that I do this read. So let me do a quick deck cut here. So this is, um, I, I wanna say it's a bit of a card of anguish with the 10 of swords. And then there is the image of David Bowie right back there in the background. Um, there's a period of letting go, you know? So it, it's a, a strained relationship either with yourself or with somebody else in your life. You can see how there's a separation. It's almost like splitting something down the middle. I really see where a toxic relationship is ending for you guys. It's caused you quite a bit of stress and this could be any relationship in your life at all. You know, um, friend, romantic partner, business, but letting go for sentimental reasons and sort of, you ever see those horrible movies What's that movie with uh, Sylvester Stallone where he's trying to hold on to somebody from slipping and they fall down? What's it called? Anyway, it doesn't matter. But you're grabbing on to something that no longer serves you and the universe is trying to drag it away from you and you're just hanging on and it's finally going to slip away. And I do believe this is a person. I'm just seeing that image as sort of a metaphor. A person that is probably toxic for you. I'm not very comfortable. Um, hold on for a sec. Okay, that's better. So anyway, there's, there's a split about to come for you guys. And I really see this is going to be something that you bring about. So it shouldn't be a surprise. But it's going to be probably a little bit of a tough one for you. So um let's see what is going on like the next card is going to represent any sort of cause of conflict so let's have a card for that hold on for a second let me shuffle out i like to shuffle between pulling cards eight of pentacles so this person could have really taught you quite a bit you know you could view this person as a mentor or a guide or just somebody that was really good to you and helped you on the way up but there is a certain level of toxicity here and this person could be dealing with their own sort of dark night of the soul or their shadow self could be really at the forefront right now. So it, it's making it a very difficult and challenging relationship for you um, because I see a lot of respect here with the eight of pentacles where this person probably helped you um, to get to the next level in your life. So that makes it so hard when you really want things to go back to the way that they were before. But sometimes people slip right into their own pools of karma. Um, you know, so what are you going to do about that? I'm going to write that down. You know, so you can't, you can't interrupt somebody else's karma because what you're doing is just delaying it for them. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, it's not doing them any good. So... I mean, you could try, but it's just inevitable. You know, somebody's got to work through their own darkness, but it's really, really, really going to impact you, um, you know, sometime soon. So be prepared for that, you guys. It's never easy when you think that a relationship is solid and it's never going to change. And then you're kind of having like 
suspicions about what people are doing I'm gonna take that card this is gonna help you with changes needed in order to face this challenge because the break is inevitable it's not it's not gonna you can't sustain it so there's the Queen of Cups energy here so the Queen of Cups is really asking you to be emotionally connected to where that person is right now uh, not where you want them to be or where it used to be um you know the queen of cups she's she's a very sensitive person and it, it's like i think you're taking this a little bit personally taurus you know that this person and you're you're asking them or you want them to choose between you and something else whatever is dragging it down now for some people i think it's some sort of an addiction and it's not going to be as easy as that. So you're going to be, it's going to be really hard for you. Like I see where you're distancing yourself, but only by showing compassion with the Queen of Cups card are you going to be able to understand what this person is going through and why you need to release them. You know, and it's just not easy. It's not easy, especially if you're in a parent-child relationship and you see that your child is just headed for, you know, I have two boys, you know what I'm saying? So I saw them do a lot of stupid stuff, you know, so, and you watch and you're like, you're like a helpless bystander. And that is what this is going to feel like for you right now. And you're trying so hard to hold on tight to them to keep everything where it was, but this is their karma that they need to fulfill. It's part of their soul, soul contract. It's part of their earth walk. Um, so the Queen of Cups is going to recognize that for you. Like this is, that Queen of Cups energy is going to bring you sort of, if not an acceptance of what is going on, any sort of split, um, a tolerance of it, you know, that will, I just see a great big open wound. And the closer that somebody is to you, the bigger that wound is going to split open. You know, so this looks like a very painful situation for you, Taurus, but um, there's no way I can sugarcoat these cards for you. So this is really interesting, you guys. So you've got the Queen and the King of Cups. I pulled the King of Cups under strengths for you. So this is where you guys, you can really turn a situation around, you know, where you can tell this person, you know, if you ever need help with anything, I'm here for you. You can really change your approach um, to whoever it is that just needs to go their own way right now. They just, they can't help it. They're being called. They're being beckoned. It's like, um, I'm getting a visual, but I can't get the words, you know, where, where somebody, it's their destiny is calling. And you just might not agree with it. And I feel like for many of you, it is going to be somebody like that is related by blood that you're super close to. Either that or your romantic partner. So the Queen of Cups, like, like she opens up to the fact that, you know, nobody could stop your destiny from happening. So you can't stop somebody else's. And you can see that the King of Cups is kind of coming out the other side. So you're able to say that, like, I'm here when you need me, when you trip and fall, like when you, like just whatever, you know, because I wanna help you at the end of all of this. And he's walking through sort of a landslide of garbage. It looks like a wrecking yard, right? So something is gonna happen that's gonna feel like a wrecking yard for you guys, but you have gotta keep your chin up. Like you can't let this bring you down yourself because it's like you need to be, um, kind of the pillar of strength for this person too like they're gonna need you more than they think that they do and I really think this is gonna be I really see a child influence here for you guys I really do you know if it's not your child it's like a really close friend's child or you know a niece or nephew or you know this could be particularly difficult for any of you guys that happen to work in a shelter or you know uh, something like that where you're providing services. Um, honestly, you guys, I, I volunteered at a, a food bank. It was a few years ago and it was really difficult for me. I used to run a restaurant and I had like 80 people working for me and they were, you know, university students and whatnot. And some of them I was, you know, 
you connect to some people better than others. So um, while I was at that shelter, I happened to see somebody um, and it was clearly like he was, had some sort of possibly a psychotic break. He didn't even know who he was. He didn't recognize me and it was just really, wow, it was really, really hard, you know? So I see you guys being that kind of spectator and just wishing that you could help somebody, but you're gonna be powerless to do anything other than be compassionate and extend an offer of help for when they're ready for it. So um, this is very, this is probably gonna be a very difficult situation for you guys, but if you understand that there's ways to offer that support to somebody that is going through their dark night of the soul, if you don't know what that is, you guys, I really want to encourage you to look that up, what a dark night of the soul is and why people need to go through their own. Um, and then you could just be that soft place to land and let's see, have an outcome card for you guys. So this is really interesting. Um, so we've got the two of pentacles. This is the two of coins. Obviously, um, this is an earth card, like the coins and pentacles represent the earth element. So this is you guys, okay? So this, you guys are an earth sign, Taurus. So this is you, like kind of going on with your life. You're never going to forget what's going on here. And you're going to have an open channel to this person because you need to know how they are. But this is where you guys just sort of resume your life. You know, it, it's really not an option. So just continue on, you guys, and, you know just like be that beacon of love and light that this person is going to need that, that's all i'm seeing here for you guys this is going to take a chunk of your heart like I, i'm not gonna like i said i don't sugarcoat the cards this is going to be very challenging for you and you could have had little whispers of this coming up and going well no i mean i don't see that happening but i really do see Somebody needs to do their own thing and you have to let them. You just have to let them. And this is where you give people love and blessings and away they go. So um, with your love and light. So I just wanted to send you guys tons of, you know, my love to help you get through any sort of a, this is going to be painful. So I want to give you guys whatever I can to help you get through it and just know that I'm here for you guys. So anyway, um, yeah, good luck. Take care. Bye.